So here I'm going to demonstrate a couple of the AS5040 boards that we designed at the Mad Scientist Hut. Um, here's one of the boards. It has an AS5040. This is made by Austria Microsystems. It's a 10-bit rotary encoder chip. Um, and then we also have this diametrically magnetized magnet that we're going to use as a sensor magnet. Diametric magnets are magnetized so the north and the south poles are on the sides of the magnet instead of the ends where the north and south poles would normally be. So this allows us to rotate the magnet over the chip and the north and south field of the magnet will rotate with the magnet and the chip can detect within about a third of a degree the absolute position of this magnet. Now I have one mounted here and then a diametric magnet mounted here on the end of this crank. I also have one mounted inside of the servo. We made a smaller board that goes inside of the servo. And then we modified the servo. We tore it apart. We took the potentiometer that's on the shaft off of the servo and mounted a diametric magnet to the end of the shaft. We also took out the stops for the servo so it continuously rotates. Let me plug in the servo and the um, Arduino Uno power. And you'll see, you saw that the servo was going through this little initialization routine that I, I, I made for it. So uh, let me reset it and I'll explain to you what it's doing. So as the servo is, is initializing, it's looking for position. I'm feeding a sweep of uh, PWM pulses into this servo and looking for where the servo stops moving um, with a wider or narrower pulse. And then I give the, the Arduino Uno a variable that's called zero position. So the servo is not moving either direction. Now, I'm reading the position of this magnet, and I'm also reading the position of this magnet continuously inside of the Uno. And if there's any difference between the two, the servo will adjust plus, plus or minus just to try and equalize the position. So as you watch, I'll move the crank, and the servo will follow. And I also wrote the algorithm so that if you're more than 10 degrees away from each other, the servo will move a lot faster. You'll notice that it has a slow motion mode right here, and then a fast motion mode. So. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks. Please visit the Mad Scientist Hut.